So right now we're going to review a special brew that was sent to me. I think it's been over a year um, from Glenn of Home Beer Brewery. He sent to me this bottle. It was uh, marked as toothpaste fluid or something like that. Um, very interesting. Clear as a whistle. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember if this was an Irish whiskey or something else. Um, so I don't have a lot of history. I don't have a lot of information about what is in this bottle. But if you can see this bottle, you know basically what this should contain. So since I have a guy here who is um, a much better sort of whiskey analysis and notes sort of guy than I am, I thought I would take the opportunity to go ahead and share this special brew with him from a fellow brew tuber that we both look up to and admire. Glenn, thanks a lot for sending this to me. So let's go ahead and crack this open, get it into a couple glasses, and give it a whirl. Cool. I'm honored. That's cool. The first thing I always do is tilt the glass a little bit. Okay. What am I looking for? And then I rotate it a little bit. What I, want to do, what I want to do, yeah, what I want to do is cover the sides. Okay, cover the sides. And then I keep it up, up, upright. Yeah. It starts to form legs pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And legs are pretty thick. This tells me that this is about forty percent ABV. Um, it's not going to be in the fifties or sixties because they're too too thick for that. So okay. if you take a glass of wine and you do the same, you'll see that they're even thicker. Then you see there are some late addition beads, and they're clinging to the glass, and I have to look at the viscosity of those, mm -hmm. which is telling me that there are some flavors in there. Okay. And there are s not not heaps of it, th but there's some of it. It doesn't tell me whether it's good or bad, mm -hmm. but this is due to the oils. And still there are a few beads around the brim. Like tertiaries. Yeah, you can see the, the beads in my mm -hmm. glass. Yeah. And they're still up here. So you can see these beads coming in. Yeah. yeah, they're still up here. So that tells me that there is a lot of flavor in here. Yeah. Not whether it's good or, good or bad, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of it. Okay. So that's the first thing. And then you could look at the color. The color is gorgeous. It is. And I'm pretty sure in this one he didn't use any artificial coloring or anything so I'm pretty I'm pretty anxious to to uh, hook up with him and get to know how he aged this or how he um, you know what, what he did with the spirits after he distilled it okay so when do we get to smell it now okay. now's the time cheers <laughs> oh okay so so this is uh, for That's me very potent for me yeah yeah for me this is quite Irish Irish whiskey like Irish whiskey ish yeah it gives me uh, Irish whiskey sort of uh, notes from from the aroma mm -hmm. meaning that it's quite sweet mm. quite sweet and. It, obviously, it's a young whiskey, um, so it doesn't have a immense complexity to it, but it's just sweet. I'm getting vanilla notes. Um, I'm getting sort of grain alcohol sort of notes. Yeah, yeah, of course the alcohol is there. Um, is this something that we should like water down in order to like... I, I always or? take the first sip neat. Okay. Always, always. I don't take a whole lot though, like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon maybe if, if it's very strong. Mm -hmm. And then what I do is I chew it. I chew the whiskey so it will go all over the top of the tongue, the sides of the tongue, underneath the tongue. And then I swallow over the middle of the tongue. So this whole process takes about four or five seconds. That okay. gives me the opportunity to let all of the, the tongue uh, get the flavors. And also, the, 
olfactory. Mm -hmm. uh, that is our main source of getting the flavors. So, cheers. Let's dive in. Cheers, Glenn. Thanks a lot for sharing this with me. Appreciate it. Oh boy. Now I get the vanilla. Yeah. The vanilla is a little bit more pronounced also. I get some toffee flavors, caramel, um, mm. a tiny bit of butterscotch. Yeah, all there. There's also some uh, maybe like cane sugar or you know, so it's, there's a lot of sweetness to it. Like like you would find in an Irish whiskey, but this differs from it <laughs> quite a bit. On the finish though, uh, the spices comes through. It's a little peppery on the finish, like white pepper. Yep, I get the pepperiness. There's something else there though. On the finish, yeah. Te like tequila-esque, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand that, yeah. Mm, the uh, vanilla, huge vanilla. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Mm. And the finish is, is medium, sort of medium. It's not very long for a little bit. And then again, you won't expect that from uh, a whiskey like this. Wow. But yeah, I was I, I, I was very pleasantly surprised by this. Mm. Um, definitely. Uh, this is something that yeah requires a special appreciation. Uh, it is very delicate. It, it's not terribly complex, it, 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 but it has notes that are definitely you must appreciate. It is for what it is. Yeah, I have to say that I'm very happy I got to taste this because this is tastes nothing like uh, what I've tasted before. I've had a few whiskeys. <laughs> I have. This is nothing like what uh, anything I've had before. It's like a, it's like a, a crossing between an Irish and a Scottish whiskey, mm. sort of. Okay. Dive in. Mm. So yeah, I would like to add some water to this. The reason for that is that alcohol is extremely mm. potent in in trapping flavors. Okay. So what happens when you add water to the to the a strong alcohol? Mm -hmm. It there's a chemical reaction and more flavors and aromas are released. All right, with the water. Well, let's get all ahead and get a little bit of water. Yeah. Put it in here and see what sort of changes it creates. What I usually do is give it a little swirl. Swirl. We've added water, so we're going to give it a little bit of swirl and. Uh, Let it breathe a little bit and see what it sort of releases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's definitely toned down a little bit. Oh, I'm getting the malt now. Malt? Yeah. You know, now that you mention it, that's sort of like one of the things that maybe it is a sort of elusive notes that I was thinking about. So okay. I get the tequila esque of it, yeah. but then, yeah, there's definitely that sort of maltiness. Of course, there's maltiness of it. I mean, <laughs> it, it gets more pronounced with the water. So yeah. I think maybe there's rye in there as well. I'm just guessing here. But. Mm -hmm. Can it go in for a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers again. Mm. So different. Much more smoother. Yeah. Rounder. Yeah, definitely. Um, the vanilla is there, but there's also... Wow. Something else that there... It's a rounder. Smoother. Yeah, I know. I want to say maltier, but that's sort of the obvious thing. It's definitely maltier, but 
I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come up with a biscuitiness again. It's sort of biscuity. For a for a whiskey, this cookie biscuit. Yeah, yeah. Cookie biscuit. Co cookie biscuit. Mm. Because of the sweetness. I mean, the sweetness is even more pronounced now with water. Mm -hmm. uh, this is. I'm having so much fun with this whiskey because <laughs> this is so off the charts for me. For me, yeah. this is so off the charts. So I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm saving mine. I'm saving mine. Glenn, this was this was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed mine. You really need to hook up to my channel mm -hmm. on YouTube, Technicians Brewery. I need to have uh, all the way to communicate with you. I would like to know uh, how this came to be. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, I love my whiskeys and I would, yeah, I would say that this, I would not be disappointed if someone gave me a dram of this. So, cheers. Cheers, Glenn. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. I'm going to steal his and drink the rest of it. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.